my creatives and welcome to another video so today i'm here to share week two of my memory keeping for 2021 and today i'm going to create one page with two photographs so the pages that i created for this carpet and planner that i'm using is a six by eight inch size so all of my pages will be six by eight inches and i'm on this mission to use the supplies that i have so i'm using very very old supplies i believe the paper that I'm going to work with today is from the Dear Lizzie Stargazer collection uh, which is from 2017 I think because this was part of a scrapbook kit that I was subscribed to in 2017 or beginning of 2018. Uh, so that is the paper that I'm going to use uh, today because I absolutely love this paper and I think it goes very well with the photos that I am documenting for week two. So as you can see, I have two of these uh, photos here and um, they are all both portrait sized, but I thought they fell a bit back into the background. So I'm going to mat them on some scrap white cardstock. And uh, the first photo that I am documenting is that we had this teeny, teeny, tiny bit of snow in the Netherlands. And snow makes me very, very happy. So, of course, I took a quick photo of it at night because I wanted to document that we had this teeniest, tiniest bit of snow. And I am documenting a photo of Coda, uh, which I will tell you more about later on. Uh, in this scrapbook kit, I also had these big chipboard words, and I believe they are also from the Dear Lizzie Stargazer collection, and there was this one word, love, and I thought it was perfect with a photo of Coda, and uh, it also was the perfect size for the 6x8 uh, layout. Maybe it's a bit too big, but I really, really wanted to use it, uh, so that is what I did. I am using some transparency paper here. I'm not quite sure what this paper is because I re received it in snail mail and I love uh, layering transparencies at the moment. So I'm backing up my photos with this as well, just to break up the solidness a little bit of my layout and to have a little bit of extra thing there, but not something that will take over a lot because this is quite a busy and packed layout that I'm going to create because I really wanted to have just one page for week two. Uh, also because I don't didn't have that much to journal about uh, so that's why I chose the transparency paper and now I'm going to do a doodly border with a sakura jelly roll I mean this is the dark blue paper really screamed some white border so uh, that is what I do with this uh, sakura jelly roll and I love to make doodly borders as all of you know uh, so this was a perfect chance again now this is week two so it's the second layout that I well the third layout but really the second layout I do from my memory keeping so I'm still a bit insecure about how to work with the holes and how to put everything on my page something came loose in my craft room <laughs> So a painting just fell from my wall. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really know where I left off, but I will catch up again. Um, so yeah, I wanted to document these two photos and I'm using this very old kit. I have some snow and cocoa snowflakes that were also a part of this kit. And uh, I told you already about the teeny tiny bit of snow we had, uh, but I also have this lovely photo of Coda. And um, with this particular page is my second page i'm still a bit insecure about how i have to work with the holes so you will see this me fussing a little bit around with where to place things because i didn't want to cut holes through my photos or anything so i'm using my other layout as a little reference what you saw me do before i cut down a project life card so it was a little rectangle and now i have an ac digital kit uh, of snow and cocoa and i grabbed some little supplies from there because in the original scrapbook kit there was also snow and cocoa so i thought i would grab that as well to get myself some smaller embellishments so now I'm going to stick some things down and uh, at first I'm going to stick the photo down with the teeny tiny bit of snow. And on the bottom I have this photo of Koda and it is the cutest thing ever. So Koda has his own blanket burrito on the couch. It's his spot. He likes to lay there. And Oots is so, so sweet because he builds him the biggest 
most fluffy burritos ever. So in this case, he grabbed three blankets and he built him this burrito fort so he could lay there just, you know, chilling in this cold wintry night. And he absolutely loved it. And I wanted to document that Oots does this for Coda. It's it's a, just a little small thing. But you know, you will forget uh, over the years. And it's a normal thing for me to see. Because Oots does that all the time for Coda. Uh, but uh, it's something really sweet to document. And uh, it's, you know, it's the small things that make life wonderful. So I really wanted to have that little piece of... Uh, everyday life in my uh, memory keeping but look at him he's so happy in his his blanket burrito <laughs> he just loves it it's his spot he also gets very annoyed when something is on his spot now he's very sweet but he will grab my attention and tell me that there is something on his spot and he wants to lay there so he i really wanted to document that cute little photo of him and in the at the end of the video there will be still shots so you can get a lo closer look on uh, the cutest photo ever of Koda. So I'm grabbing some extra more embellishments and I'm going to stick things down and I now you're here I want to ask you that if you like this content I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up I would also love it if you would consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and put the notification bell on all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos I do lots and lots of different topics I do a scrapbooking art journaling memory keeping journaling creative journaling mental health videos all kinds of things snail mail is a very big part of my YouTube YouTube channel so if you are interested in that uh, go have a look on my channel or subscribe <laughs> thank you so now back to my uh, layout so I found some of these little stars in the snow and cocoa digital kit uh, that I have laying around here and uh, now I'm looking for a place to put my week number because I have to be honest I forgot about that <laughs> so this was a little bit of an afterthought uh, but I think it worked out pretty well so I found these two labels that were part of the snow and cocoa digital kit and I'm going to layer them up to create a place for my week number and a place for my roller date stamp but I wasn't quite sure on what to do so I thought well add another doodly border why not <laughs> and uh, I will stick these uh, together and then I will take them apart again because I was like no maybe I don't want to do it like this maybe I do and then I decide that I want to have them beneath my journaling because I stuck that uh, rectangle down there to do some journaling about the blanket burrito and coda and oots and Koda is even here checking out his home photo. He approved. Koda was very happy with this photo and how I gave him a place in my our memory keeping. He's such a cutie. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I wanted to uh, incorporate that. And I'm going to use some Mama Elephant stamps for that. And I'm just going to stamp it out week two with some archival ink. So if you wonder what I used, there's always a list of supplies in the description box. And if I can find it online, there are links for you. Just beware that some of them are affiliate links and some of them are not. But if you are ever wondering what I use, there's always a list of supplies. So also with all the color names and everything. So you see me here stamping with my new roller date stamp. I'm very happy that I bought it. I use it for a lot of things right now. So I'm very happy that I finally bought a roller date stamp. It's something I thought of for three years if I wanted to have one. And I finally bought one and I'm very, very happy that I did. So now I did my journaling uh, with a different kind of pen. And I'm going to back my other scrapbook page that I already made up with this one uh, because I want to have them back to back stuck together so I put some double sided tape all over the staples and I'm using some um, ad liquid adhesive because I want to have the wiggle room because often I stick things down a little bit crooked and uh, with double sided tape it's stuck down immediately so I usually like to use some liquid glue for these and I'm using the Eileen's Clear Gel Techie Glue. Absolutely love this glue. Definitely recommend it. So now I'm trying to line it up. And uh, you see that the love word sticks out a little bit on the outside. And I was thinking, do I want to cut it off or do I want to keep it there? In the end, I decide to keep it there because there's enough space in my planner, ring bomb planner, to uh, yeah, have it stick out there. So eventually I decide to not cut it down. But I do cut down a little bit of the pattern paper because it was a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit wider than the spread I did piece 
E4, which is also a process video on my YouTube channel. If you are wondering, you can find it in the memory keeping playlist for 2021. But uh, it's a soft pink and this spread is pretty neutral. So I didn't want to have that teeny tiny soft pink showing. So I'm cutting that off all ever so slightly. And I repunched my holes with my crocodile, and now week two is done. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you would consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Put on the notification bell on all notifications. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!